So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my eyebrows really quickly. It doesn't take a long time. It's pretty simple to do. This is going to be another gel tutorial and I used a gel last time from Anastasia. This time I'm going to be using the Benefit Cosmetics, um, their new brow products. So I'm using the Gimme Brow and I'm using the Cabrow. So firstly, we're going to start by using the Gimme Brow and this is in the color number five. It's going to kind of fill in any parts of the eyebrow that may be sparse. It's also going to help brush those hairs upward so that you get a good um, idea of where you need to fill in. My eyebrow hairs aren't very, very dark. So that's why what I do for my brows is I do a lot of like darkening of the hair. Because a lot of times when you take pictures, especially with flash photography, your eyebrows can go missing. Uh, if there's nothing in them. So that's why filling them in helps to make them look darker and more strong. We're gonna go in with our Cabral. Now what I really like about the Cabral in particular, and if you don't get anything else from the new Benefit line, I would suggest getting this. Um, if you like gel brow products. First of all, it's a brush and a product in its own packaging. So in here, you unscrew this and you have your brow gel right there and then this pops out and this is your little brush. So I really like that. I really like that the packaging is so convenient. And then another thing that I like about this product is that it's very smooth and it's not too like cakey or anything. So you can use it as precisely as you need to. Not to fill in my entire brow, but to like give me like hairs. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. What I like to do is I like to start on the outer edge and then work my way to the front. So. I like to get it going and then I do brow strokes like very light strokes I wanted it I wanted to make the appearance of hairs so that's why I'm doing strokes like so very lightly with a light hand and I also like to take my brow in a little further than where it stops so my brow stops right here but I like for my brows to stop like kind of where my nose contour is I know that looks like it's way too far in but I feel like it just looks so much better Fam, I like them to be, you know, tamed, but at the same time, I like them to have a little edge, edgy look to them because I like for my brows to look really full and natural. I don't want them to look too put together. I feel like the days of extra perfect brows are ending, slowly coming to an end, and then fill in any spots that you need to. Bam! So rude. Doesn't even know I'm trying to film. So now I'm gonna do the other side. So, now I'm gonna go back with my Cover Effects Perfect Pencil, which I absolutely love. And I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna like lightly draw underneath here, just to fix up any mistakes that I, that I messed up. This is actually like a little baby fan brush. Do you see that? And I'm just gonna um, pull that product down and blend it out. And now you're not done. You're not done. So I don't know why you stopped, because you're not done. I like to take my mascara. You can use whatever, whatever mascara you like. If you don't like the look of using mascara or it's too dark for you, you can always get a brown one. Or you could just get a brow gel, like normal people. But I like to use mascara because it's dark and it matches my hair. And you want to very lightly go over the hair. You don't want to scoop your brows, like, you know what I mean? You don't want to go through them like super, like super heavy because it's gonna make your brows look super dark. So what you wanna do is just like lightly go over the hair just to bring some dimension and make the hairs appear super thick. So it gives you the illusion of really thick brows. And that is pretty much it. It's not super, super perfect, but I prefer my brows to not be super, super perfect anymore because I just feel like they look more natural when they don't look super super perfect i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like to see how i do the rest of my face i have a tutorial for that too and i'll talk to you guys in the next video okay bye